What is this video? What's happening right now? Hello YouTube, it's January 18th and you know what that means. It's my birthday! This isn't gonna stay. This isn't. It's my birthday! And you know what that means. It means it's time to finally take the tree down. But that's not what this is about. What this is about, this is staying. It's staying, we're good, we're good. So I'm old, walk with me. So here's the thing, I'm old, yeah? And the older I get, the more it hits me. And I keep seeing stuff online that's like, well, if you're over 30, you shouldn't be in this fandom. You shouldn't be playing video games. You shouldn't be going to anime conventions. Yo, I can't help I'm old. It hurts. But at the same time, who cares? I've been playing video games since I was five or six. I don't know, somewhere around that age. I'm not going to stop just because I'm old. I'm not going to stop because someone on Twitter thinks that, that 30 is too old for video games. I'm also turning 31, by the way, so maybe, maybe, it, maybe it's true. Maybe I am... So is this it? Is this my last video game hurrah or something? It's not. But if it was, why not take a moment to go over the 31, because that's how old I am, the 31 uh, video games that I've enjoyed the most throughout my long, long, long life. Right here, in these very tubs. This is where I keep all my games because I'm not creative. I'm not creative at all. Uh, we're gonna go through these, and I'm gonna find out what my—I don't know if they're—I don't, I don't know if these are gonna be the 31 favorites or the 31 that played a biggest part of my. It's just gonna be a selection of 31 video games, and I'll tell you why I selected them. I don't know what they are yet. I didn't really plan this out. It's gonna be a nice little trip down memory lane because I'm old, and that's what us old people do. We tell stories. We relive the past. We're gonna go through every gaming console I've ever owned. Which is uh, probably everything, because I'm ancient. I lied, it's not everything. There's nothing Sega in here. Never been a Sega guy. I'm a trash gamer, take back my card now. Super Nintendo. The first video game I've ever played, Super Mario World. Who else was, who, who else had this as their first video game? Raise your hands, I see them all out. I see them all out there in YouTube land. I'm bumping everything, God, I'm a mess. Super Mario World, first video game I've ever played. Still have it. How many systems are in here? How many do I do? Two from each? We'll do two from each. Let's do two from each. So if we're gonna do another Super Nintendo, we gotta do Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Uh, my very first RPG game, it created a monster. This was all I played when I was little. Uh, uh, well, clearly not looking at this giant pile. This was my first Let's Play on this channel. I love it. I just love it. I love Mario RPG. Even on my deathbed. I want this to be the very last game I ever play. That's actually a really morbid thought. It's kind of scary. Happy times! It's my birthday! Alright, we're heading into Nintendo 64. I got a floating... Rock it out, rock it out. Hey, that's <laughs> Nintendo 64. There, It's really hard to pick a Nintendo 64 game. Because this was the system where my brother was born, so we did a lot of... This was really the first system I started to play with other people. And Mario Kart, you you weren't a kid when I was a kid unless you were playing Mario Kart. That sentence made no sense, but I stick by it. Mario Kart, number three on the list. I love Mario Kart. What's this list again? 31 games that I like for random reasons. How do I categorize this? What's the title of this video? 31... Why do I have that game? I don't remember ever. NASCAR? When did I get NASCAR? Ooh. I went back and forth between some wrestling games. We got Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Snap. I got Super Smash Brothers. Had to go with Perfect Dark. Me and my brother and our neighbor played the heck out of this game. If there's any other Nintendo 64 game besides Mario Kart, it's got to be Perfect Dark. Maybe these are 31 games that I'll take with me to my grave. A lot of death talk. A lot of death talk going on. We don't enjoy this. Game Boy! Where are they at? 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 Y'all. Original Game Boy. The big, bulky, gray one. Uh, easy winners there that are going with me to my grave, because I guess that's what it is now. Um, I'm counting this as one. Pokemon Red and Blue. Uh, my introduction to the Pokemon gaming series. Were these before or after the anime? They were after the anime, right? So maybe not my introduction to Pokemon, but my introduction to the games, 
And what a monster these games have created, just in general. These have taken over the world like it's insane. I love them. I need to... I want to log back on... Log on? I want to load these up and see what my teams were. I don't know when the last time I touched these were. Uh, they're probably so old that the files got erased or something. Like, corrupted, whatever. Game Boy game number two. Uh, it was tough because there's not much else I played besides Pokemon. I went with Final Fantasy Adventure... Um, cause I remember I was, this was around the time I was getting big into Final Fantasy and I was like, oh my god, they got Final Fantasy Game Boy games. And they're not really the same, but I played them nonetheless. I liked them just because it had Final Fantasy in the title. I'm easy to please. Imagine, if you will, a hundred million years ago, back when, when you put color in your video games, it was a big accomplishment. Game Boy Color, that was the future right there. And Pokemon Crystal was the epitome of that. Um, I, I can't not choose Pokemon Crystal. That was the day and night, the, the color, the color, all the nights on the road with the little... Uh, how many of y'all, old folk like me, how many of y'all with the, the Game Boy on the road, you either play by the street lights or you had that... What's it called? It was like a... It hooked on to the Game Boy and it had a light above it. The, the hard times back then, guys. If you don't know what I'm talking about then you, I'll never explain it correctly. But if you know, you know. Let me know if you know. Please don't let me be the only one that had that. It was like a magnifying glass and light. Other Game Boy Color game didn't have that many. Uh, Resident Evil Gaiden? I don't like this game. I really don't. Again, I bought it because it's Resident Evil. I liked it because of the title. Um, I don't think I ever beat it. It's... I don't know. I don't think it's good. But I played it nonetheless. I played it a lot. And I guess that one's going with me to my grave. I didn't want to do it. I really didn't want to do it. We're going to throw Pokemon in there again. Um, what's What makes this one special as opposed to those, not only is it in color, um, not only does, uh, like, the Game Boy, what was it? The SP had the backlight, so you didn't need the weird light. Uh, this was, Game Boy Advance came out when my brother started getting old enough to also get into Pokemon and stuff. We played the heck out of Ruby and Sapphire. That was what we did together. We didn't do much red and blue together. It was ruby and sapphire. It's like the world's gonna fall down on me. Is this it? One of these days, I'll buy an actual party hat for these videos. Game Boy Advance game number two. Yeah, what's a Yu-Gi-Oh! 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 The Eternal Duelist Soul. Played this a lot with my brother as well. This and Pokemon. That was our thing. You. Oh, you. Oh my god, a lot of you. Not you anymore, sorry. Um, had to go with Pikmin, which I bought for $29.99 for anyone who's curious. Uh, Pikmin, what an awesome series. It's just so much fun. I'm in love with the series. Thank you to the original for being amazing. Uh, Pikmin's just awesome. Gotta take Pikmin to my grave. And Kirby Air Ride. Um, hopefully someone dies with me, because it's not as fun to play by yourself. But this was my brother and I again. A lot of these are nostalgic moments with my brother, us growing up. Kirby Air Ride was our one of the big games that we played. It was our, when we first got into YouTube, we had the our joint channel. Kirby Air Ride was our thing we did. A lot of memories with this game. Love it. Love it. You're being buried with me. I'm writing my will. This is my will. I'm not dead. I'm starting to realize I didn't have that many DS games. You. I didn't, I don't, I, it's literally. Alright, um, DS game number one, Pokemon Platinum. Literally every DS game I have, I would say a one, two, three, there might be maybe 15. It looks like nine of them are Pokemon. There are some repeats. Uh, Pokemon Platinum, reasons I've said above. Above? Reasons I've said in the past. I, you can't go wrong with Pokemon. I will take every generation of Pokemon with me. The other one, this one's a wild card right here. Elite Beat Agents. This game is a lot of fun. If you like music, it's a rhythm game. It's kind of goofy. There's some cool songs. Elite Beat Agents is a good DS game. I will take this with me. I like Elite Beat Agents. Stop hitting the hat. All right, 3DS, you know what we're going to start with. Pokemon Moon. Biggest thing with these games, um, around the time these games came out, they had the promotion going on. Like every month, you go to GameStop, they give you a card and you enter in the code and you get a, like a legendary mythical Pokemon for what year are we on? 
For many, many years, I've tried to capture a Mew, and you just can't do it. I have a Mew on one of these games. One of these Gen 6 games has a Mew on it. And I was like, I was so happy. I'm like, finally. My adventure as a trainer is over. I can rest easy. You're going to be buried with me, Mew. Um. All right, cool. We're just going to go with the cartridge. Fire Emblem Awakening, because the box looks like this. Um, this was about the only non-Pokemon thing in this group. And it was also my first Fire Emblem game, so I enjoyed it. It was fun. I need to get some more Fire Emblem games. Fire Emblem's a cool series. 16. We're halfway through my life. Oh my god. We. I didn't really get into the Wii much, to be honest. My brother had a Wii. I didn't really have a Wii. It was kind of the... It started out as the family Wii, and then it went to my brother. Uh, that's why I don't think this is the right game. I'm looking for Wii Sports, but I got Wii Play, so we're going to go with that. Whatever had the bowling on it. Whatever came with the Wii bowling, that just might be built into the... My family, we tore up that Wii bowling. Y'all remember when the Wii first came out and everyone's like, we're going to get fit while playing video games? My family was one of that. I even got that. We got Wii Fit. We got we got Wii Jillian Michaels from The Biggest Loser. We got the Wii The Biggest Loser. Both of them. Wii was the fitness one. Maybe that's why I didn't play it. And then we got uh, Wii Rap. Well, it's not Wii. Rabbids Go Home. Uh, my brother bought this game. He played it. I, I honestly have not even played this game. I just watched him play it. Um, it's hilarious. The rabbits are adorable and annoying at the same time. It was my introduction to the Rayman series, more, mostly the Rabbids. And then I, because of that, I love, like, the, we might get to it, the Mario Rabbids Kingdom Switch game, whatever it's called. Wii U. All right, Wii U's an easy one. Pikmin 3. Can't go wrong with Pikmin 3. First two Pikmins were great. This one, just everything. The Wii U, oh, the Wii U's a really cool system. I know it gets a lot of hate. I really like the Wii U. The gamepad was cool. It, it all worked well with this game, and I really appreciate it. Thank you, Pikmin 3. You die with me. Uh, Monster Hunter Ultimate 3. This game was why my brother and I got Wii U, so we could play this together. Why does it feel loose? It's not loose. It's in there. Um, so, you know, just the nostalgia. It was our first Wii U game. Got to include it for that. Nostalgia factor. Is that it? 20 games down, and all we've done is talk about Nintendo. You might say I miscalculated, but I never calculated to begin with. So I... PlayStation. Oh, it's, it's hard to pick just two, guys. It's really hard to pick just two. We're going to do three. I'm doing three PlayStation games. Because... It's absolutely impossible. Oh, man. But what about that one? I picked four. All right, original PlayStation. We're going to start with Resident Evil 2 with no cover in a very broken case. Uh, Resident Evil 2, this was my introduction to the Resident Evil series, which is another big one I love. Uh, Resident Evil 2 is just really cool because you got the two discs, and they're pretty much two games all together. You start with one, you go to the other, you could flip it and do it the other way around. There's just so many different ways to play it. You go under the tree, I'll open you next year. Final Fantasy VII, I'm basic. How many of you are basic like me? How many of you started with Final Fantasy VII, started with Pokemon Red and Blue, started with Resident Evil 2? It's like these series are vultures. They reel you in and they just keep pumping games out and you just buy them all. But Final Fantasy VII. I know there's always an argument over what's the best Final Fantasy and people are like, you're only saying 7 because of nostalgia and that was your first. You're damn right. Breath of Fire 3. My friend turned me on to this game. I borrowed it from him. I'm pretty sure I bought my own. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. I still have your game. I'm pretty sure I bought my own. And I love it. It's like no one I know has ever played this. I rarely I'll meet someone who has played this, and it makes me so happy. Breath of Fire 3. I just love this game. I grew up with this game. The story that... Ah, ah, ah. I can't get into it. Love it. Uh, the other PlayStation game, SmackDown 2. Again, my brother, my neighbor, we would, uh, of all the SmackDown games I have, SmackDown 2 was the one we played the most. The season mode, so much fun. So much fun. 
Not fun to play now. Loading screens. Yikes. I literally have more PlayStation 2 games than any other game. I'm at 24. I only got seven games left I can pick. I mean, oh. I somehow limited myself to two. Shout out to all the SmackDown games and shout out to all the Resident Evils. Oh, shout out to Madden 04. Only 04. No other Madden game. Alright, uh, gotta start with Final Fantasy X. Again, basic. This was my first PlayStation 2 game. And y'all, y'all spoiled now. Listen, if you, you're not my age, you don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get how cool it was after playing Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9. You get to PlayStation 2, you, they have voices. You get to hear them talk. That was amazing. The, the graphics and everything. This was so amazing. To It was Christmas Day at my grandma's house. And I remember I, just, I ignored everything else and I just went and played Final Fantasy X in one of the bedrooms. I love it. This will always be one of my favorite games. Um, we're going to do a shout out to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. The best of the Grand Theft Autos that are not five. I don't, know, I don't know what I liked about this more than like Vice City and 3 and 4 and all that stuff. San Andreas was just really cool. I really liked it. The story was... Maybe it was Big Smoke. I really like Big Smoke. Big Smoke's a cool guy. Number 26. Five games left. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to cheat with the PSP game, Final Fantasy Tactics, War of the Lions. I get my tactics in my grave after all. Uh, same reasons I said earlier, only... Um, it's a remake, remaster, remake. It's one of the above. It's better, and it's good. and it's portable. It's the good news and bad news. Bad news is there's only four games left till we hit 31. If I did my math right, the good news is between all these games, um, all these systems, at, you know, after PS2, you grow up, and I feel like you just get less and less games. So what we got? We got Xbox 360, we got Xbox One, we got PS3, PS4, oh, we got Switch, that's five. One of y'all is getting left out. Ah, uh, it's so hard. Four? I can only pick four of these. First of the final four, Dragon Age Origins, my introduction to the Dragon Age series, which I'm now obsessed with. Thank you to my friends for pushing me into getting into this game. Um, I love it. I've replayed it so many times. I've 100 percented the achievement. It's a PlayStation 3, the trophies on this game. I've played it so many times. I just love each storyline. I'm attached to the characters. Dragon Age, I, I can't say enough good things about Dragon Age. Xbox 360, Left 4 Dead. Long story about this one. Um, this was the reason I bought an Xbox. My brother had an Xbox for the longest time. And I was like, you know, we can play multiplayer together on there. I don't need one. I refused. Um, we got Left 4 Dead on PC. Our laptops uh, were horrible at gaming. Like, you, the lag was, it was insane, dude. The lag was horrible. So I bought the Xbox 360 just so we could play Left 4 Dead. As soon as this came out for console, uh, the money was gone. So Left 4 Dead, good memories. Love it. For Xbox One, I went with... Sky, that's not Skyrim. Where's Skyrim? Skyrim might actually be in the Xbox right now. I went with Skyrim, the Elder. I went with the Elder Scrolls. Um, need I say more? It's Skyrim. I could have picked like any. I'm pretty sure I got PlayStation Three Skyrim somewhere. But instead for PlayStation Three, I went with Dragon Age. Instead for PlayStation Four, Resident Evil Seven, because you know. It, it went along the wayside at Resident Evil 6, and they brought it all back with 7. And it's been a long time since a game has been able to scare me like Resident Evil 7 has. Um, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, this isn't even... This is just a little glimpse of the games I have, because most of them are digital. I could have put the 2 remake on there. Well, now the whole list is botched. Uh, quick shout-outs to Stardew Valley, Resident Evil 5. Um, there was another one. There was another one. Oh, Kingdom Hearts. I tried to work Kingdom Hearts into the list and just didn't make it. Sorry to all the Switch games. Maybe next year. You know what this means, right? First, it means I have a huge video game problem. Second, it means that 31 games isn't enough. 
I gotta live longer so that I can take more games and have a bigger list. Because these are the rules that I made up. So guys, everyone back into the bins. We're not dying today. We're not being buried. We're gonna keep on gaming and we're gonna keep that fire burning. I don't know if you can tell, I was like so excited for birthday and I didn't realize, shoot, I don't have a video for today. I'm sorry this one happened. Also, if it's your birthday too, let me know in the comments. Happy birthday, we're birthday buddies. Seriously, in the comments, let me know if you love any of these games, especially if you love Breath of Fire 3. I never meet anyone who's no, who even has heard of that game. Please let me know if you've played that game before and if you love it. Let me know if you love any of these other games. We'll be game buddies. Let me know what, um, however old you are, make a list in the comment section. Tell me I'm echoing off of that and I can hear myself and I hate me. Uh, <laughs> leave me your list of like, you know, what games would you want to be buried with, I guess. I guess that's what, the, that's the consensus of what this list was. Games you would like to be buried with. Let me know. <laughs> Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe, stay happy, stay smiling. Take it easy.